Hey guys, I, uh, while I'm traveling doing my powerlifting and strength seminars, uh, most of these happen at CrossFit gyms. And I've noticed that a lot of coaches want to have a uh, class specifically for powerlifting or specifically for uh, Olympic lifting or their own barbell club. But they're having a hard time figuring out how to structure it with what they already have going on. So what I'm going to show you is the format that we use in the strength club every day. And it works out great. So to get right into it, our uh, every day we start out with a warm up. The warm up is always the exact same thing. It's a focus. It focuses on uh, shoulder and hip mobility, uh, just to get those joints warmed up. It does uh, it has a lot of squat therapy, a lot of PVC pass throughs, just to get the get the joints warmed up. Then we go into the strength. The strength. Um, we're going to warm up for the strength. So after we've done a generic warm up or a general warm up then we're going into a specific warm up for the work that we're about to do. So uh, the strength happens every day. Um, every, every time you come into class, we are having a strength. It could be back squat, front squat, deadlift, bench press, whatever the case. Now on this, this is where a lot of uh, coaches I've talked to um, get kind of excited. Um, so you can either do the swing block or you can do what we call fitness on program the strength. The swing block method is heavy lifting. These are guys who are uh, breaking powerlifting records, <coughs> state records, national records. We, uh, we have two to four world records about to be broken. Um, these guys are doing heavy lifting. They're following the uh, swing block method over here. Uh, fitness, now these are, a, a lot of times, We'll get women who, uh, older women who don't want to lift weights or they're scared that uh, lifting heavy is going to make them bulky. You know all the stereotypes that go with that. So what we do here with the fitness is we, uh, we, we pull back the percentage a ton. So like if these guys are doing uh, five sets of five at 95% of their five rep max, these guys may be doing five sets of five at 45% of their five rep max. We're just getting a barbell on their back. Um, Cause as a, as a strength coach, fitness coach, whatever you call yourself, we all know that women lose up to 40% of bone density as they age and uh, weight training reverses that. So that's how we get the women to still get a barbell on their back, to still get some of those benefits of uh, weight training, of the resistance training, without them worrying about becoming bulky. So. After the strength, we have one of two things that happen. Half the class is either going to go do the wad, which if you found me online, then you obviously know what a wad is, or they'll go and do the barbell club. The, uh, these guys are our power lifters, our strength athletes. Um, and what's really cool is we get a lot of people here in the barbell club who uh, normally wouldn't have found us. Um, these are people who come from like the generic 24 hour gyms who they, uh, they want to be healthy, they want to increase their quality of life, but they don't know who Fran is, they don't care about Fran, they don't care about Fran time. Uh, they're not going to do a double under ever or even attempt it. These are guys who they just, they just want to lift weights, they want to become stronger, they want to become healthier. And so it's a really great marketing tool, especially for uh, some of the gyms out there who are looking to get extra members. Um, so we've either got the wad or the barbell club. Again, this is heavy lifting. Um, after these two, so this is like the, ma the majority of the class right here. So they come in, they do the warm up, they do the strength, they'll do the barbell club or the wad. Once that's over, they can move on to uh, our optionals, which we call level two strength, level two cardio, level threes. Uh, level two strength is always an accessory for the barbell club. Um, so if it was, uh, if we're working on our bench press, the accessory work, it's probably gonna be some very high rep arm stuff or uh, upper back stuff. Um, the level two strength is always a high rep movement. That way we're pushing lots of blood through the joints that we just used through the muscles. And uh, it's almost a bodybuilding type workout <coughs> that is focused on increasing this. Level two cardio, if people are doing the level two cardio, um, they're probably doing it because they feel like they need to uh, lose some fat. So this is a lot of interval work. So someone can finish the barbell club. If uh, they 
if they want to increase their heart health, if they can go do the level two cardio. Um, so if someone finishes the wad and they love the cardio, they love doing friend and all that, um, but they also want to work on their arms or they want, want to work on whatever, they can go do the level two strength. So once this part's over, people can pick their options that they want to do. And the great thing is they can do it, they don't have to do it, whatever. But we, we're giving them an option to customize their programming for, or customize the programming for their, uh, their specific needs or, what, or their specific goals. So that, that's, that's pretty cool, that's worked out really well. So people can do the level twos. After that, we have level three competitive. This is open prep, this is year round open prep. That's all that is. Uh, these are our high level competitors, people who uh, they're, they're, they want to compete often. Um, very few people make it here, because normally if someone's doing this and they've done all of this, they'll come do this part in the morning, this part in the afternoon, and then follow it up with this. But we got level two competitive, and uh, you know, this is gonna be, you know, I say open prep. A lot of what the, these workouts are, almost half of them are gonna be like 16.1 or 15.4, something where um, they can go back and measure themselves against the world. Then we've got level three cardio. Um, this is just, this is purely endurance training. It's gonna be something that is uh, low impact. We're looking at rowing 8,000 meters, uh, which is often what the level three cardio is. Because if someone's done all this work and they get to here, they, they really don't need uh, much more on the joints. So this is gonna be a lazy ride for 8,000 meters, whatever the case is. Just something to build up endurance if they need more after this. So that's it. Um, this is how we run things in my gym. And uh, this can help you guys to start your own barbell club, how um, you can figure out uh, a way to market to new members who normally wouldn't find your gym. For me, it's worked out really well. And uh, I've got some, uh, quite a few people out there who follow the swing block method who are now following this. And uh, I've been hearing nothing but good things. Speaking of which, uh, Swing Block Method is a program that I created and I sell my programming through SugarWad under American Strength Club. So we offer uh, gym programming and individual programming. Um, so it can be straight barbell club or it can be everything that you see here. Um, if you uh, want to take programming off your plate, Check it out, sugarwad.com slash American Strength Club. And sign up, and there you go. You have full access to me all the time. And it's a great deal. So, questions, comments, concerns, give me an email, uh, jagas at gmail.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. i got more videos coming out. And thanks. Hope this helped.